Hey, it's Gail, and today we are going to be doing some seed starting. This is the Parks Biodome. This is the Whopper 18 cell variety. And uh, I've already planted a bunch of peppers and tomatoes and such, but I'm going to plant one extra row of peppers and one of tomatoes, and I will show you how it's done in the Biodome. Now I've already set up all my um, my little tags and I've got my seeds out and here are the biodome what they call sponges. So let me take one out for you. This is what it looks like. It is the planting medium. Now when I did these last night I did a big goof and I got them I think probably too wet. So this time I'm just going to wet these down just a tiny bit and what they tell you to do is just press them and see if they're moist. And actually this is kind of moist. So I think I can just go ahead and plant directly in this. And to do it, it's just this is easy. My first pepper is going to be the Buena Mulata. And this is a purple pepper. It's kind of like a cayenne type. Now I like to plant two seeds in each one of these just because in case one of them doesn't germinate I still have another one to do. So I'm going to let's see if we can zoom in on this one. So you see it comes already pre-drilled with a hole but I'm going to create another one just with my fingernails right beside it and that's going to be for my extra pepper seed. So now I'm going to take my first pepper seed and I'm going to put it in the main hole. And I'm going to take my second pepper seed and I'm going to just kind of shimmy it down in the one that I made. It still looks like it's open to the air and I, I really want to you know have some something touching down on that. So all I did is I just took a little bit of this and I moved it over. Now, these are called sponges, but um, supposedly they're really organic. I'm just not exactly sure what they're made of yet. Okay, I've got my tag, Buena Mulata. And that is all it really takes in order to plant some pepper seeds. So let's go ahead and we'll see me do the others and fast forward. And then we'll go on to the tomatoes. I was planting it. This particular one seemed like it was a little on the dry side, so all I'm doing is I've got a bottle of just plain old water, and actually this is even distilled water, although you don't have to use distilled. And I'm just uh, putting it on there and letting it soak in some. The first tomato I'm planting is called Vorlon. <laughs> now I'm a great fan of the TV show Babylon 5, and so when I heard that there was a tomato by the name of Vorlon, I just I had to. Okay, I only need two seeds, so the rest of them go back into the container. And you see this little tiny one here? Now I'm going to actually throw away this seed, and the reason being is something like this is kind of stunted, and it's probably not going to make for a very good plant. So let's take care of our Vorlon. I'm pretty much doing the same thing. I've got a seed. I'm going to drop it into the main hole. And I'm going to just try to cover it over with another piece of the sponge. And then I'm going to make another little hole right next to it. Take the other seed and drop it in. Then go ahead and make sure it's in there and cover it. And that's it. So now let's take a look at the fast forward of the other two tomato varieties, of which they are Blue Beauty and Dwarf Wild Fred.
<clears throat> just a real quick thing. I'm trying to grow dwarf tomatoes for the first time ever. So this one is Dwarf Wild Fred, which I believe is either a pink or a purple tomato. It only is supposed to grow about four feet tall, but it's indeterminate. So it's not a determinate type. Then I have Blue Beauty, which is indeterminate normal, but this one is has blue stripes. So that should be interesting. Of course, I got my Vorlon back here. I'm also doing some, um, some tests. I've got Jalakos, <laughs> and I probably really messed up that name quite well, but I've got that here, and this is a, a mini tomato, so this is a yellow, and just over here I have two red robins growing, and these are also micro mini tomatoes. And these I'm going to do hydroponic experiment. One I'm going to grow in my regular garden mix and the other I'm growing hydroponically. So that should be interesting. Um, this one I'm also going to grow hydroponically. I figured what the heck, may as well. All right, what else do I have? I have some sweet banana peppers and those I'm also going to do an experiment. One's going to be in my normal gardening, the other's going to be hydroponic. We've also got, let's see, I've got some lettuce over here. So I've got butter crunch. I've got two heads of those. We've got, of course, the trick to you, which is a mild jalapeno. Then I've got the purple jalapeno and then the buena mulata, which is a cayenne type. Back in the back, I have some mints and I really have to redo the tags because you can see it got really damp in here last night. So um, I have strawberry mint, apple mint, orange mint and I also have a uh, marigold here. Now I'm also growing some of these other herbs and everything because um, really it helps the companion planting with the bugs. So I always forgot um, here's the outside tray that this like styrofoam raft is sitting in and I have about a quarter inch of water in here and you can see that it looks like there's a bunch of uh, soil on the bottom. Well, that's me. I was just rolling around some of these uh, plugs in the water to uh, get them a little bit more damp. Okay, here's the dome. So this is actually a pretty cool setup. You can see that I've got some levers that I can push and pull to either close up all the venting or open up all the venting and I'm gonna leave it I had it all closed up last night which is why I had so much condensation so I'm gonna leave it open a little bit for right now normally for seed starting you'd want to go ahead and just leave them closed here's my actual setup that I have right now I have this as my heating pad so it's my grow germination mat I have that then I have my parks biodome and then I have two light lights. Now, technically, I don't need them at the moment on account of the fact that there's nothing growing yet. But the mints need light to germinate. So I have them on. 